Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Oh my god, I think we're about to go into the biggest TJ Maxx ever in Los Angeles. If it's not, I'm gonna be super disappointed, but I looked up online what's the biggest TJ Maxx in all of Los Angeles, and it said this one. I don't know if that's true, but it does look really big from the pictures I saw online. I've never been to the TJ Maxx, it's like close to the beach. I just drove like 30 minutes here, and I wanna go to Christmas shopping, so let's do it. <laughs> You guys know I love discount shopping. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right up here and it's supposedly, it's two stories. Okay, it does look, you know, pretty festive inside. Here we go. Okay guys, first off, they do have like the expensive stuff here. Like these are all coach bags. Isn't that a pretty coach purse? Um, we have Kate Spade. Long Champ, Michael Kors, of course, they always have that. TJ Maxx, looks like they have some Dooney and Burke. So yeah, and it is actually, ooh, this is nice. It is actually a two-story TJ Maxx. There's the little escalator up there. It's very clean and organized in here too. Hey okay, guys, I just already found a really great deal. This is House of Harlow. This brand's in Revolve, and look how beautiful these earrings are for $12.99. Like, so my style. They had a ton of House of Harlow jewelry. I also found these, and I think I'm gonna get these for Aaron. Aren't these so cute? $14.99 for three pair. They look so pretty. They also have, this 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 TJ Maxx actually kind of reminds me of a Nordstrom because it's like so clean and organized and huge, but they also have these cashmere sweaters, like a whole cashmere section. Wow. Oh my God, they have um, tons of Mac. But what's interesting is they have Burberry. Lots of Burberry lipsticks in here. As well as this NARS. They have quite a few NARS. This is like probably some of the nicer makeup I've ever seen in a, oh my gosh, totally getting this. Wow, is this the orgasm? $14.99. It is. Okay, mine. You guys. All right, guys, over here, they even have more makeup products. Wow, loads of makeup. I'm actually gonna get one of these because it's the prettiest palette. I'll show you when I get home. It's gorgeous. They just have a ton of stuff, Urban Decay. I love this palette from NYX, I have it. I would say the makeup selection is definitely better than, ooh, we got the Lancome mascara. Definitely one of the best makeup selections I have like ever ran into before. I've never seen a TJ Maxx with this many like nice items. You know what I mean? Come through this TJ Maxx. They also have a ton of yummy bath products as most TJ Maxx's do. Okay, I'm actually surprised they have this here. $16.99, I love this stuff. They also have some yeah. Cream Shop, First Aid Beauty. I don't know. A lot of cleaning products up in here. Got some Neutrogena, Mario Badescu. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'm officially upstairs and it's like I'm in a whole other TJ Maxx. Like, this place is way bigger than I thought it was. So, like, I was like, is it the biggest? But it feels like I'm in like two different TJ Maxx's in one, although the shelf is empty over there, I swear. It's huge. It's, it's truly huge. Oh my gosh, look how big this Merry Christmas mat is. Oh my God, like for the front door, dang. Cute, you know, I don't need it, but it's cute. I love a good blanket. Let's see what else we find. Adorable, sure, maybe for me, maybe for Tyler, I don't know. Oh my God, they have so much Christmas stuff. It's my favorite time of year. I just found these little name tags, which I love a cute name tag on a gift, so I got those. Holy goodness, they have so much Christmas stuff. It's incredible. Oh, what are these sparkly tops over here? Ooh, ooh. What do we see here? I love a sparkly tank. Ooh, this is cute. All right, guys, I need an ugly Christmas sweater for the podcast, and I think I found the one. <laughs> I think I found the ugly Christmas sweater of my dreams right here at TJ Maxx. Bam. Okay, how cute are these Ugg house slippers? I'm gonna grab a pair for Aaron. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, Christmas tree. We're home, we're gonna go through the TJ Maxx stuff. I was trying to make the Christmas tree in the background, but I just don't think I can pull that off. So I'm just gonna show it to you. Here it is. My tree skirt's in the wash because he already peed on it. You're not supposed to pee on it, no sir. Hi, so handsome though. Look at all this stuff. Okay, let's go through it. <gasps> Okay, we're back from TJ Maxx. Let's see what we got. First, I think I'm gonna change my lip color because it's kind of washing me out here with all this beige. I'll be back. That's better. In the holiday spirit, my thumbnail just fell off, which that's never happened to me before, but it literally just plummeted to the ground while I was out and I was like, oh, I'm falling apart. I don't have a nail appointment for like another week, so I'm gonna have to like try to glue it back on or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's see what we got at the store. Okay guys, the first thing I got were some bows. I just needed 
wrapping stuff. Target was kind of picked through, so I was like, let me go ahead and take advantage. $5.99, not too bad because you get the ribbon too, and it's like a lot of bows. This Martha Stewart brand stuff is pretty nice. Then I got this, you know, oh, she turned it inside out, which I thought was so cute, the cash lady, the cashier. She was like, I don't want the little balls to fall off. I was like, oh, thank you. Look at that, look at that tackiness. This one was $29.99. You'll see this on the podcast full coverage. So be on the lookout for that. Before we keep diving in, I wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsor for today's video, Casetify. You already know who you are. So I've been talking about Casetify for a while, but if you guys don't know who they are, they're the world's most popular tech accessory brand. They make phone cases and AirPod cases, watch bands. They even have these cool bands that connect to your phone so you can wear your phone kind of like a crossbody and so many different colors and styles. They offer customizable cases. They literally have so many different cases to choose from, from their website. Of course, you guys know I got my one to say Laura. Right now I'm going with the checkers. I love this one. I just got it in. This is one of their newer ones. So I want to just switch out. I just love the colors. I'm going to be going on a case by shopping spree myself for some holiday gifts. So I'm going to be going through their site and picking out some of the cases that I think my family members would love. Guys, case if I has these crystal clear clarity cases and they have UV defender tech blocks, UV ray for anti yellowing, which allows your clear cases to achieve long lasting clarity. Their clear cases exceed military grade standards and supports up to a 6.6 foot drop and 360 protection. What I also like is how sleek and skinny the phone cases are. They're not bulky at all, but they still have that military grade standard protection. Their cases are also made with 65% recycled plant-based materials. So you can feel good about gifting one of these for the holiday season or even purchasing one for yourself. Their cases protect up to a 6.6 .6 foot drop and they have all around protection for your phone. They even have protection around the camera. So your camera is not going to get cracked or messed up, which is very important for me. So if you guys want to save some money this holiday season on your Casetify order, you guys can go to casetify.com forward slash Laura Lee to save 15%. I'll have everything linked down below. And under this link, they also listed some of my favorite items on the site, my favorite tech accessories, as well as some of my favorite phone cases. But be sure to surf through the site because they literally have an endless plethora of designs and different cases and ways you can customize them on your site, which I think you could really make a really nice holiday gift by adding a little customization there. They even have new iPhone 14 cases as well. All right, let's dig in. I got this game, which I'm gonna bring out on Christmas. I can't say what it is because Ty's in the other room and he'll hear me, but I got it for 17 bucks. And we actually play this all the time in the South. I thought this could be a fun little Christmas morning game. I always try to get us one and I put it on the tree and we unbox it. And then that Christmas morning, we normally spend time at home doing things like fun games and stuff. So I was like, oh my God, perfect. I, I normally just order one off Amazon, but I found one at TJ Maxx. And I was like, wow, that is so us. We would love to do that. Next up, I got these slippers, which I think this was probably my hottest buy for Erin for Christmas. I think she would love them. I think the color is so cute and perfect for her. These are originally $100. I got them for 39 bucks. Like, are you kidding me? 39 bucks, that's so nice. I asked him I get them for her, for her birthday because her birthday's on the 10th. She's one of those December babies. Are there any December babies out there? following me because honey you guys get all mixed up with christmas and your birthday so i feel that so i have to get aaron's birthday and christmas in the same month i low-key wish her birthday wasn't in december because it's just like it's a hard birthday month because people are busy and it's hard to like do stuff because there's so many holiday parties everything's about the holidays you know it's not really birthday season but we make it work i got this candle because i thought it looked so beautiful and i was even like wow this is so beautiful like as a christmas jar to have out i don't even care if it smells good but it actually does it's by i don't know sand and fog and i got it for 9.99 and it actually smells good. It smells like balsam, like a Christmas tree. So it's perfect. But honey, we gotta trim those wicks. You see those tall, long wicks? That will create black smoke going all through your house. Make sure you trim your wicks before you light your candle. Every time it will really prevent all the smokiness. Isn't this just gorgeous? It looks like it's from Anthropology. $9.99? I got this little top. You know, this top is like one of those tops where it's like, is it going to be cute on? If it's not going to be, I'm gonna pass it to Erin and see if she wants to wear it. But I got for $12.99. It's just this little sequin top, but I was thinking I could definitely make it cute and like wear it with some like cute pants or something, like a blazer and like let it be a little pop of a moment. It was just so sparkly, it caught my eye in the store and I, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it. I was like, 
you're coming home with me. Then I got Tyler these for Christmas, but you know, I can't, he's listening. He's listening to what I'm saying, so I can't say what they are. This is the price. Pretty good, right? Yeah, the golfer that he is, I really thought he might like these. This is the brand. And then this is what they look like. Super nice. I was like, how perfect. How perfect. I got these for Aaron's stocking. These were $7.99. I just thought these colors were really fun and something that I thought she would like. Useful little thing. Let's dive into some of the jewelry I got. So this is one of the boxes. And I thought these were great holiday earrings for $12.99, like with their hair like back in a bun and these on with like a pretty dress. I thought that is so pretty for $12.99. Like great holiday earrings. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> I've never heard of this brand, so I don't know about that, but I do know that they're cute. Then, very excited to get these for $12.99, these House of Harlow gold twisted hoops. They're kind of chunky, and I was like, whoa, those are really cute. And then I realized, I was like, oh, this brand is from Revolve, and I got lucky. So this TJ Maxx was really, really big, by the way. It was definitely one of the bigger TJ Maxx's I'd ever been to. I'd never been to this one before. And they had like a lot of the more pricey items. One of Beverly Hills is more like the richest TJ Maxx because it definitely had a lot more of like the runway section in Beverly Hills. So that one's definitely the richest TJ Maxx in LA. Not this one, but this one is way bigger. It was just huge. It was really crowded though. So I'm gonna be honest, like I didn't film as much in there because I was like, feeling overwhelmed because the amount, the employees, I'm like, why do you guys not reset the store in the afternoons or at night? Cause you guys stay open late when there's not as many customers cause there were so many customers. And then they were like trying to tear down all this stuff and redo it. I'm like, why right now? Like when I worked in retail, we were not allowed to do that. But I know things are different per store. I didn't work at TJ Maxx. I worked at um, another retail store. It was a big chain, but like we would have to do it late at night when there weren't actual customer shopping. I was like, oh my God, I can't get through here. So I was like panicking, trying to film and like find stuff. And I was like, oh my God. I was stressing. I'm not, I want to be honest. I was stressed in that TJ Maxx. But I did find these and I'm just like, these are just so cute. Like Aaron is going to die for these. Look at them. Adorable, adorable, adorable. $14.99, these look really nice. Very trendy. I honestly, if they had different styles, I would have even bought more, but I, I, I never rack up in the jewelry department at TJ Maxx. And this time I did, I found really cute stuff. Okay, dead. I found this, I found a bunch of empty ones. I think people were like stealing them for sure. $14.99, so I made sure and opened mine. I was like, are they in there? But they are. Um, how freaking cute is this? Oh, and then the little lipstick. Oh wow, it really has not been swatched. I just knew it was gonna be swatched. It has not been touched. Oh my God. Okay, let me show you. It's just like a pretty, you can tell it's like a pink glaze. That's the lipstick. Oh, I'm definitely gonna like keep these in my purse. And then here's the gloss, which is pretty much just like pinky clear right there. Gorgeous. I can't believe I found this there. I was so excited. $14.99 for both. I mean, they are minis, but I was like, wow. This TJ Maxx definitely had more in the makeup category than any TJ Maxx I'd ever been to as far as like high end. Uh, $16.99, I got this little palette. I think I'm going to... I think I'm gonna give it to my sister because I think I'm going to see her and I think she would like, I mean, I definitely want this, but like I have enough. And so I think she would definitely die for it. So I'm gonna give this to my sister, but isn't that absolutely, I would swatch it, but I don't wanna touch it cause I'm gonna give it to her. But isn't that insanely beautiful? Like, are you kidding me? I'm gonna tell her I found this and uh, she will love it. She is a makeup lover and she will love this. Next, it is not stocking stuff in season unless you have some socks. By the way, I just updated like my Amazon uh, gift. I created a gift section, I'll link below. It has like 150 items on it for gift. There are some fuzzy socks there. But I got these for $6.99 and I thought, wow, it's normally like one fuzzy pair for $6.99 and here I got four, four fuzzy pairs for $6.99. I was like, um, this is a good deal and I actually really love like the colors and the style. So I was like $6.99 for four pair of fuzzy socks. Give it to me. Okay, you're gonna die. The cash, the lady checked me out, the cashier. She was like, oh, this is so cute. And I was like, I know I love them. <laughs> I love cats. She said, I love cats. And she said, do you have any? I said, oh, I do. <laughs> so we were both cat lovers and we were just like going off over this. $5.99, this little notebook. It's got the little kitties. Oh my goodness. And it's just a plain notebook. I always, it's always my time. 
in the uh, end of the year to get my notebooks going, you know, prep for next year. So I also found a calendar for myself. I normally do the plain black calendar every year from Amazon because I really like the layout of it. But I did find this one if I don't end up using it because it was nine, originally $19, half price. So if I don't end up using it, I will give it away. But it's important that I have a layout like this. And then it's important that I'm able to flip through and have a secondary layout for the days for me to put just my notes. I typically don't write per day on here, but I'll just write all my notes. Like here's all my ideas for the month and things I gotta execute on this side. And then on this side, I write what day I'm gonna like do it. Like turn in this, you know, get this ready by this, photo shoot here, you know. And then here I go into detail. It's very important it has that layout and this did. So I was like, mm, Actually, this one might work for me. I'm definitely keeping this one because the black ones don't have this many notes pages. This 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 one comes with a ton of pages in the back just for notes alone and I need that. So I think I'm gonna keep this one for me. Yay, we get a cute one this year. Okay, then I got a hair towel for $9.99. They had cheaper ones, but I've tried this brand and it's really, really good. It's like kind of a bougier brand, but I mean, $9.99, not too bad. Erin loves these and uh, I thought this would be a cute little stocking stuffer for her, a little hair towel. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've been looking because um, I love a big pretty name tag. It really can make a gift pop. So for $4.99, I found these. I was looking for some plain ones and I've looked multiple times at TJ Maxx and they always have like a ton of designs on them. I'm like, no, I just want like a simplistic, gorgeous gift topper tag. And that's what I found at TJ Maxx. Then I got one of the most popular lipsticks from MAC. It's called Velvet Teddy. It's such a pretty color, $4.99. They had a ton of them. Like this color is not like one of those colors that no one wants. This is the color that everybody loves. So I was like, oh my God, oh my God. It's like a cinnamony nude brown. I mean, come on, that is just, do you see how brown it is? It's like mauve cinnamon. Gorgeous, definitely one of MAC's more popular colors and I found it. It is a mini, but I found it for $4.99. I also got this, which I was gonna show you back here, but this shirt, it's by Lucky Brand. It was originally $100 and I got it for 39 bucks. I was like, my God, it, I got it in a size large so I could wear it open like oversized, but I just loved the color and they had like a few of them there and I saw two other girls putting them in their cars. So I was like, yep. This is a good one. It's like a really thick, nice material. You can tell it's like a super nice shirt. I have a feeling my husband's going to steal this from me and that's okay. We often buy clothes and we share clothes. I don't know if anyone ever else does that. Like we'll buy like a jacket or like a big shirt and we'll like share it. So this is definitely gonna be one of those items for me and him both. Ooh, this is one of my favorite clothing finds. Okay, that's all of that bag. And then I think I just got one more thing. And then lastly, I got this little Kindle Kylie that had a ton of Kendall Kylie clothing there. And I got it for $24.99, originally 32. And oh my God, I'm like, do I keep this for me or do I give it to Erin? I wanna marinate on that because obviously I have a lot of cute stuff coming for her. And I'm like, wait, I might like this for me. So first it was a two piece set, which I thought was really good. So you get the little sweater like this, so adorable. And then you get the cardigan that goes with it with the chunky knit cable and the buttons on it. And like it was a set, so you get both for $24.99. Absolutely the cutest. I think I'm gonna have to keep this. Maybe you'll give it to Aaron, I don't know. And that's what I got. I got a lot of stuff. I spent over $300, which that racked up shockingly quick for me. I was like, oh, but I did get a lot. Like I, I think I'm done with like Aaron stocking. I got my ugly sweater for full coverage. I got some gift wrap stuff I needed to get. I got a game for Christmas morning. Like I got a lot of stuff I had been needing to get anyway. So that TJ Maxx was definitely a huge score. If you guys are in LA, it is the one in Santa Monica, the promenade one. It was good. It stressed me out, but it was good. It was worth going to. I'll definitely go back there. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to check out Case You guys know they're gonna be right down below in the description. They also make a really great holiday gift. Be sure and click my link or go to casefy.com forward slash Larly for 15% off your order. And that's it for today's video. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.